Chief, you defied my instructions not to go out or engage in any workload. Doctor, you don't expect me to lie around here doing nothing. Chief, but you have capable hands running the affairs of your companies. If you do not restrain, I am sorry, other complications may arise. And I do not know if your heart is capable to be the pants for another surgery. Ma'am, you are a doctor, and I am sure you know exactly what I'm talking about. I have been talking to him. He won't listen. You want to force me into a retirement? If I have to force you to retirement, for you to be healed and hurt, I will. Because you have a capable man, for goodness sake, to run the affairs of Namani's dynasty. Chief. Get out. You heard him the last time we talked about it. That young man has no interest in the Namani's dynasty and you know it. It doesn't matter what he wants. This is a necessity and his opinion is inconsequential. This family has been running on a relay race and his won't be any different. Dillion is your successor. And you know the rules. No right, no seat for him as the head of the dynasty. Well, what needs to be done will be done. He has to do what has to be done. We all know the way it went last time. Well, this time, it will be different. I am going to arrange a conference call with Dino and Laura. Go and prepare the household for dinner. Yeah. Someone. <sighs> He's coming back. He's coming back. He's <laughs> coming back, and why are you this excited? Delia is coming back from the UK. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Shush, shush. That's not true. And even if what you say is true, why must the information come from you? I mean, why must you be the first to know, huh? <laughs> Miss Blogger. Low budget Linda Ikeji. We know you know it all. Hmm? But I'm sorry to bust your bubbles, darling. This particular information eluded you this time around. Dillion is coming back from the UK! <laughs> hey, and why are you jumping like a frog like he's coming back for you? Of course he's coming back for me! He is coming back for me. In your dreams. <laughs> Don't I have what it takes to <laughs> be the next Mrs. Namani? Uh, uh? <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, the pepper in the food I'm cooking in the kitchen is choking me. Is that pepper that will kill you there? <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I don't mean to be rude, but if anyone should have a shot, at Dillion, that woman should be me. <laughs> What's funny? Are you remaining somewhere or this? Oh my god. Listen up, listen up, listen up. Your girls are living in fool's paradise. Mm -hmm. I mean, do you realize the caliber of man we are talking about here? Mm -mm. Tell us. Yeah. I'll tell you, my darling. Mm -hmm. A fifth generation multi millionaire. Oh, yeah. The son and heir apparent to Namani's dynasty. Oh, Does that ring a bell? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it doesn't does ring a bell. <laughs> Miss Blogger, mm -hmm. Madame Forbes magazine. Tell us what we don't know already. Yeah. So you know. Mm -hmm. So why do you choose to remain gullible? Huh? Biachia, Sabi, Manuel, whatever you call yourself, don't insult me. We went to university, so don't even try to use grammar to confuse me. What, what, what's the meaning of that one now? Or Queen, I want to understand. Just, 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 just leave, stop it there. 
Um, Chelsea. Yes. Or whatever you call yourself. <laughs> what makes you think that Dillion cannot fall for us? Because you girls do not have the requisite class, the poise, the confidence mm. to be Mrs. Namani. Oh, oh. No. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Chelsea, you're a very funny character. <laughs> <laughs> so, is it you now that is standing here? Abi, you remain inside. You're wrong, me and my sister. <laughs> is it you that has the requisite class to become his wife? Of course, my darling. I am a graduate of the prestigious downtown university Mom. of science mm. and technology. <coughs> A member of the alumnus of the same great institute. <laughs> you have seen me now. I'm a graduate of the Uptown University of my father's village. <laughs> Maybe. Who knows? Eh? You forgot to add that you're a master's degree holder in, in, in washing plates and, and, and wearing big shoes. Whatever. You know what will kill you? is jealousy. Yes, you always ooze of jealousy because you know you can't even measure up to my standard. As a matter of fact, you are not even up to my shoes. So girl, choke on it. You know what? I don't blame you. You see, this job mm. is temporal. With time, I'll take a walk. Abia. Uh, well, if you ask me, I think we all should stop quibbling and get into a contest and let's see who get picked by Dillion. Beautiful. <laughs> Let the contest begin. I, just me see you, okay? Who are they phoning you? Who are really they phoning me? Wait, wait. Please. You all want to go into a contest? Of course. For a man you don't even know if he's coming back to Nigeria with another woman. Mm -hmm. And... Madam, I know it all. Chelsea. What gives you the impression that there are no such ladies? What did she call it again? Uh, class uh -huh. and class. Uh, Requisite class. Yes. Uh -huh. In the UK, that you will fly over 6,000 kilometers uh -huh. just to come get who? You. I'm special. Uh -huh. Just. <laughs> Wait. You all have common problem. And you know what that is? Long truth. Long truth is your problem. You've stayed long enough in the corridor of wealth. That makes you all think that you have a room here. You know what? Go back to your duties and stop gossiping. What's calling Ketu? Uh -huh. uh -huh. Daughters of Jezebel. A1 in gossip. F9 in common sense. What are you gossiping about? Instead of you to invest your time to develop yourself, you sit around here, eat and gossip. Fools. And you, the very one with POP on her legs. I'll take care of you. Idiot. <laughs> It's not Madame Kweko that asked me to leave the room. Why? Because she doesn't want me to listen to what she was telling Madame. What could she be telling Madame that she doesn't want someone else to hear? I think it has to do with finding a wife for Dillion. <laughs> but why would they be looking for a wife for him when he can't do it himself? Exactly! My question exactly! Why would they be looking for a wife for him when I'm here? You know, <laughs> when you're where? When, when I'm you're here. here. Tora, I think you should go back to what you were doing before. Eh? Then standing here and wallowing your own foolishness. Don't oh. you think? So you call this foolishness, Abby? But that is it. No problem. Just wait until I become Dillion's wife. 
By that time, you'll be begging to have a word with me. Don't really? worry. By that time, I will be the wife to the president of this country, you know, right? <laughs> Dream, I keep dreaming. You're getting dressed already. As you can see. But I'm here to get satisfied. I didn't come here to get you satisfied. I came here to get laid. <sighs> come off it, Chelsea. Stop the pretense, okay? I know you love me and you get into my arms whenever you want to. So why acting up? Please, don't think so highly of yourself, all right? Anyways, I don't have time for all this your nonsense. Are you, expect Are you expecting anybody? No, I'm not. Did anyone see you walk into the room? How am I supposed to know that? Huh? You are summoned. Is everything okay? Yes, everything should be fine. I don't ever want to get caught. If anything happens, I will just kill you. You put yourself here now to you. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I summoned you here to inundate you about what to expect in the coming week. We would be playing host to Dillian, who is slated to return and take over the affairs of the dynasty. So I expect each and every one of you to be well behaved and well dressed. If I find anyone wanting, especially you, the girls, I would not hesitate to send you back to the trenches where you belong. And you know that I have the powers to do that. So, I would not tolerate laxity, gross misconducts, or gossip around here. Have I made myself clear? Yes, yes ma'am. Now get your stupid and poverty shrinking self out of my sight this minute. Get out. Maurice? Yes, ma'am. Get me a glass of wine. Okay, ma'am. So, <clears throat> good day all, I called you here to in on, in on, in on date, in on date. <laughs> we are to play host to Dillion who is slated to come back to take over the affairs of things in and around here. <clears throat> if any of you, especially the girls, you me. and Chelsea, not me, <laughs> if any of you is found wanting, I will not hesitate to send you back to where you came from. She went like this, she said, <clears throat> Be about your duties 
as I will not tolerate any form of laxity, unnecessary gossips, and uh, uh <laughs> you do not hear us, Jared. <laughs> oh, Vasabi. Oh, Vasabi, don't go kiss Stella. I swear, ever since she was made the chief domestic staff, she has been thinking, carrying herself like the madam. Oh, the madam! <laughs> But trust me, all this will end soon. How? How? Question. When I become Mrs. Dillion mm. Naman, I will ensure that you girls are adequately taken care of. Oh, it's not adequate. <laughs> Sorry. 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 Right on with your speech. I'm right on, ma. <clears throat> As a matter of fact, mm -hmm. I will ask my husband mm. to increase your salary and promote you. You <laughs> 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 girls can laugh all you want, mm -hmm. but believe me, it will happen soon. Mm -hmm. Very. <laughs> Please, when you become Mrs. Dillion. Please, 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 Mrs. Dillion, go. Be I'm not asking for too much. Mm -hmm. Just make me your PA. Abby? <laughs> I don't even know. You don't want anything. I don't even know the one I want. She's right. She's right. Me? <laughs> 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 She for staff, exactly. She, P.A. She, 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 Ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Mrs. Dillion. Chicken, sorry. No, man. Oh, the man is dynasty. Oh, oh, yes. oh, 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 you guys ain't gonna see me coming. You can laugh all you want, but I assure you that it will come to pass. If you like to believe, if you like you don't believe, you can laugh all you want. I will be Mrs. Nnamani. Take it or leave it. GM. Good day, Chief. Good day. You need one. Okay, sir. So how are you? I shall peruse them later. He said it's only business. If it's not business, I shouldn't come. Oh, the stubborn was gentle. Well, here we are. We're about to feed the same lady. Oh, 
Okay, Chief. I will do just that. I have to be on my way now, Chief. It's all right. My way is to Must be diamond. Yes. <laughs> you are indeed diamond. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so, how is your fashion business? Fashion. <laughs> you know, fashion business is going on well. And if you must know, I love making dresses for renowned, influential, beautiful, high class women like you. <laughs> so I've got a double package a daughter in law, a fashion designer. You can see all in one. All in one? <laughs> yes, actually. Thank you. Lovely smile. Thank you. Oh, wow. Um, ma. Yeah. The table is set. Just in time. Let's go and eat. Food is ready. Okay. <laughs> That takes it a lot. This wine is made in Dubai. Dubai, right? Mm -hmm. Togo. Mm -hmm. Maybe Togo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm. Savant. <laughs> Savant. Savant. Pick this thing up. Pick it, pick it. Pick it up. Jane, this is not a laughing matter. Can you imagine that small girl asking me to pick up the towel that she used in wiping her smelly mouth? 
Just imagine. She did it on purpose? Of course she did. Wow. If you ask me, there is trouble. How do you mean? Our individual plans to get Dillion, marry any of us, may have come to an end with the arrival of that girl. Impossible! I can't allow that nitwit to have a chance with my Dillion. Not in this life, not even in the next life. And that nitwit, that nitwit happens to be the only daughter of Chief Magnus Diwibe. Does that name not ring a bell to you? I don't care if she is Dangote or Otedola's daughter. Mm. That brat, or nitwit like you called her, is no match to me. Come on girls, take a good look at me now. Eh? Oh. Eh? Look at me, full of Sean. I can cook, I can sweep, I can clean, I have sense, I have Inkiruka and Azuka to back it up. Does that not make me a complete white material? One million yards? Oh, please. <laughs> I am Chelsea, the exclusive reserve of the rich, mighty, and influential. <laughs> influential? Mm -hmm. Just like Fred Abbey. <laughs> Fred? Hey. Well, every woman has a Fred in her life, right? You mean to say every woman has a free service in Kunkumba? Take it out, very important. Thank you so, so much for the dinner. I <laughs> really enjoyed myself. Well, it's good having you. <laughs> so we look forward to seeing you again soon. Yeah, sure. Absolutely. All right. All right. You take care of yourself, all right? <gasps> okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. What do you think about her? Does she have the qualities required? Well, physically, yes. But it remains to be seen, you know, what she has to offer on the inside. Well, ma'am, you don't need to worry. She has a good upbringing. And I'm sure Dillian will love her when he sees her. Oh, speaking about Dillian and his eventual return, how far have you gone with the preparation for the gala night? Oh, I have everything drafted out. I think you should come see it. Okay.
Are you still on this? Uh, um, yes, ma. I, I am almost done. For how long? Listen, I will not tolerate such lackadaisical attitude here. Okay? Everything around here has time and you must keep to it. I'm sorry, ma. Rubbish. And, and what do you have behind you? Ma? Um, my, my hands. Damn it. I mean, what is in those stupid hands of yours? I, I, um, I... Hello, ma'am. Um, okay, right, right away, ma'am. I'm not done with you yet. Mind that stupid Stella. Very soon, you will be mine. I'm mine alone. I love you. The drum is for the neon. 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 All this drum is for the neon. For the neon. I know you would be whispering among yourselves, asking questions like, Who is she? And why is she here? Well, let me formally introduce her to you. Her name is Diamond Diribe, the daughter of Chief Magnus Diribe. She's not of your class. Mm -mm. Don't go there. Where in a matter of weeks, she would be assuming her conjugal duties as the wife of the sole hair apparent of Namani's dynasty. And you were mandated to respect her to the letters. If she for any reason complains about mistreatment from any of you, I would not hesitate to sought the permission of the madame of the house to send you all back to the trenches where you belong. Am I clear? Yes, yes ma'am. Great. Dear Munda. Would you want to add anything to it? Um, you know, <clears throat> anyway, you all should just keep being the, the humble servant. Servant, shut up. Servant. <laughs> and try not to get under my, my Melanie delicate skin. That's all. That's all. Now let me break that to your level. She said you should not get under her delicate, Milani, and expensive skin. Is that clear? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma yes. Now get your half baked selves out of my sight. Now. Right now, please. Thank you. Get out. Forward. March. Out. 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 Gossip out. We are fully baked. Half baked gossip. I'm not even baked at all. Get out. Look at her. Oversized boot. Get out. Beastie body. Come on now. My darling, would you want something to eat or drink? Yes, so. I'm hungry. Don't worry. It's just a call away. Rice, ma. You must be very stupid. Of course I know this is rice. I mean, what kind of a tasteless food is this? Aha. Uh -huh. He brought poison for me to eat. No, no, you want to kill me. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> poison? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. there's no poison in this food, though. I don't understand. What do you mean there's no poison in this food? Oh, oh. Are you trying to say that I don't have a test board? No, you're trying to call me a moron, a fool, that 
I, I'm not able to differentiate what is what tastes good and what doesn't. Hmm? This is obviously poison. I mean, even an animal can't even survive this. Hmm. Let alone a human being like me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is poison. No, there is no poison in this food. I, I've been cooking in this house for a very long time and nobody has ever complained of my food. Even governors and presidents have, that come to visit Oga in this estate, I've cooked for them as well. I've not had a, 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 any complaint. Wow. You don't know what you're talking about though. Bravo. Chef. So you're proudly telling me that you've been feeding this household with rubbish? Huh? Ma, my food is not rubbish. My, my food... What do you mean your food is not rubbish now? Who can survive this food? Ma, my food is not your rubbish. Your food is rubbish. Don't tell me that. This food is rubbish. Who can survive this? Now, nah. you look like me. I can't even swallow it. You know what? You're insulting me. You're calling me a liar. And a fool. But you know what? I am going to report to Stella. <laughs> yes, Stella must hear this. Might not insult that you brought poison for me to eat. Might not insult you. I did not insult you. But if you want to go and report to Madame Stella, no problem. Now go and report now. No problem. This is eat that one. No problem. Eat it. Bring that food back. Can you bring it back? Insult Dillion's feelings. Stella, I didn't insult. Excuse me. What did you just call me? No, say that again. Chief of Staff. I didn't insult her. She, only, she, she, she was the one who said my food was, was, was tasteless and poisonous and wasn't good for animal consumption, let alone a human being. That's so I had to true. take it away. It's not true. I mean, I only pointed out few things that was missing in the food and then she got angry and took the food away. Hey! Yeah? You're lying now! How am I lying? Are you? You're calling your boss's fiancé a liar? Really? Okay, fine. I will let this slide this time. But the next time it repeats itself again, I will send you back to the trenches where you belong. Now go right in there! Prepare her a fresh meal and make sure this time around is tasty. Now get out! Out! Get out! What if she doesn't like the food when I make it? It means that you are stupid, useless, and irrelevant to this dynasty. And that means you have to leave. So go and prepare a fresh meal. Get out! Get out! Stupid girl. And please sauce it well. Look at her. Oh my dear, I'm sorry. You know, they just sit around here, eat, consume food, and they can't even eat in their houses, and go big like, like fools. I'm sorry, my dear. Mm. She makes something nice for you. Welcome. How did it go? Can you imagine that stupid girl that calls herself Diamond, Abi, Bronze, Abi, whatever her stupid name is? Telling Madame Koi Koi that she never said my food was tasteless and poisonous. That she only pointed out what I should have done. <laughs> I think you have suffered. That she only pointed out what I should have done to have made the food tasted better than it was. Just imagine that kind of stupid talk. You know, the very first day I set my eyes on her, I knew she was going to be a trouble to all of us. Hey, all of you, not me. She tries that nonsense with me. I'll so beat her and damn the consequences. You would risk your job. What job? I don't care about the job. If she tries that nonsense with me, I will show her why they call me Chelsea. Wait and see. Just watch. Ah! Watch. So, did you make her another food? Yes, I did. But I wish I put poison in that food so that she would eat it and die. She should not worry. Another time is coming. Oh, Ma'am, 
I... I mean, can't you greet? Oh, I'm so sorry, my greetings. Uh -huh. Servant, what do you want? Ma, I came to tell you that I've been seeing the way things are going around here, right? Especially between you and Dora. But I've come to tell you not to mind them. Yes, they are only jealous of you. They are jealous of the fact that they cannot even get up to your fingernails. All right? Amongst all of them, I am the most educated one here. And I have chosen to be by your side. All right? The whole thing happening here is seeming jealousy. Jealousy inside poverty. Yes, ma'am. Poverty. So if I understand the rubbish you're trying to say, do you want to be my eyes? Exactly, ma'am. And my ear? Mm -hmm. In this estate. Yes, ma'am. Well, that's a point worth considering. But if I may ask, at what price? Price? Mm -hmm. There's no price, ma'am. I just want to do the right thing by standing with you. Anyway, I'll think about it. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for giving me the opportunity at least. Why did you wake me up? Why are you sleeping by this time of the day? Is it your business? I'm not special sure you holding close to your heart. None of your business. None of my business. Mm -hmm. mm. Why are you dressed like this? Oh, in case you have forgotten, Dillion is on his way back to the country. <laughs> Your twin has arrived. Yes, and we need to get you prepared to receive them right now.
I told your mom that yeah. I can still run, but she won't take it. She wants the best for you, Dad. My goodness! My goodness! Oh my God! What? The lion! Mark, hey! Do not try to take my shine. Step aside. Mm. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> my name is Oscar from Alabama. And trust me, you owe me quite a fortune for taking care of your son. Will that house to me? <laughs> your friend really has a great sense of humor, you know. Yes, I like Oscar. I'm not me, <laughs> look at mommy and look at daddy. Yes. Look at them looking like vampires all the time. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> and I have to take good pictures of these guys. Oh, I have to show my yeah. friends in the States. Why are you not? Sorry, 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 please. Hold on. The lion! This is a country home! You have mosque! You have church! Yes. You have library! <laughs> in your house! Of course, everything. Everything. <laughs> can we all go inside? The lion! The banquet is ready, come on. Come the lion! On. The lion! The lion! Okay. You have ATM machine! Yes, we do. In your house! In my house? ATM <laughs> machine! Let's go. I am not going back to Alabama! <laughs> I know oh, you're wearing. Oh, really? You do? Yeah. <laughs> it's a choice you. of color, actually. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, let me help you with that. Okay, and thank this. you. I thought I fixed that already. Yes, but it's not properly fixed. Okay, thank mm -hmm. you. You look so cute. Hey, come on! What's that about? I don't understand. I mean, I, I thought you were together. I, I thought you were lovers now. Lovers? You don't even know me. I don't even know you yet. Come on. I mean, what is there to know about you? Um... Hey, 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 hey. Stop. Okay? Ask first before bringing anything. Hey, you. I mean, what is what is this you're wearing? Pretend you don't know. 